my sisters and I are really excited to open up our second Dash store. Chloe, you're really slow at steaming. Opening up a new Dash is a lot of work. We actually brought Lily from our LA store with us. Coming here to Miami with the new group of girls and training them. I'm a little nervous to see how that kind of falls into play. I've been friends with Courtney for several years now, and she recently let me know that she was opening a store here in Miami. I'm Carrie. I'm an aspiring model out of Miami. I'm so excited to work at Dash. I think it's a great opportunity. It's nice to have people that you can trust. We're basically families. So, yeah. And it's a family business, so let's keep making the family bigger. I agree. <laughs> Part of the whole reason why we came out here together is because we're both single, single sisters in Miami. We ordered the regular hangers. We'll have to switch all the hangers out. Is the goal to get everything done by tomorrow? We're four days away from the grand opening of Dash. We have to get business licenses, decorate the store. There is so much to be done. We are throwing a huge party for our Dash store. We're on a major time crunch. I just hope we make it. I'm sorry, but we have really great taste in ordering clothes. Chloe, Lily, and I are at the airport picking up Kim, who's here to help us with our big store opening for Dash and help us do all the PR. Welcome to Miami, Kimmy. We're finally a business owner in Miami. This is so exciting. Hello. This is like mine and Courtney's shindig, not really yours. Um, who's a part owner in Dash? You're a part Chloe owner, but didn't do hello. anything. You're just here for the store well, opening. Don't start me off in a bad mood, seriously. Don't start me off in a bad mood. No, no, like seriously though, like I'm not gonna act like I'm not a part of like the store, so stop. What do I say to you that I don't do for the store? What have you done? What have you done? What have I done? Everything. PR is a huge part of making sure that our store grand opening is a huge success, and that's what Kim is here to do, and Chloe is just not happy about it. This is your thing, yes. and I'll let you guys have that, but it's not gonna be like, what don't you do? You don't do anything, you don't do anything. That's what just came out of your mouth, and that's not how it's gonna go. When you get louder, I totally get you more. You're well, so you long. obviously are so dumb that you're not understanding what yeah, I'm saying. I am. There's no time for this. We're trying to open a store here. Do you think that Kimberly's gonna come and help us? No. She's a bitch. She wants all this attention for herself. And I have bigger things to worry about. Chloe and I set up a meeting with Kim and our friends Jonathan and Simon, who run one of the biggest PR firms in the country. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Sorry, we're having a meeting. Kim storms in, doesn't even say a word to Chloe. This is about to get ugly. Are you with that bitch ass whore? Yeah, we're in the What a bitch. Like, oh. what a diva, seriously. And coming now in here, Chloe, trying to work Chloe. it out. I just hope we'll be able to get something accomplished. All right, guys. We're going to have basically the who's who of Miami VIP media here. This town is really like a small town here. You guys have to invite like your VIPs because our Wait, job is going to be the media. We're inviting people? Well, just local Miami oh, yeah. VIPs. Oh, you guys want help us? <laughs> no, we got to invite like, people. We're I don't know local Miami You're a little VIPs. smarter than that. I am smarter than that. I had yeah. no idea. Are we Oh Let's, can we finish the meeting so. first? I had no idea, smart. Kim. You front like you know what's going on, and you're this big, smart businesswoman, but you don't have your <laughs> together. We all have different <laughs> roles. So my what part of this said. business no one told is you you had publicly, to. you know, talking about it and bringing publicity to this business that companies pay millions of dollars to do. Take you a guys, shut the I don't have time for this. We're trying to open a store here. We're not trying to have an ego war. Kim has her role, Chloe has her role, and everyone needs to get over it and accept it. You're both wrong in certain ways. And you just need to have a conversation when you're calmed down. You need to walk away from it and I let tried it to walk down. away. I can't even look at her. What's wrong with you? I'm just so irritated that Kim barges in here like she's here to save the day when she has no idea how much work we've done. I'm doing this radio show, which she's never even asked me about. 
I've got to get Kim and Chloe back together. We need Kim at our store opening. She's doing all of the press right. and PR but for so the store. Right, so are we. Kim does her well, job, then, but, but I don't need people. But you aren't doing that because you're doing the other stuff. I could so do the other stuff. you need to be appreciative of I what I am appreciative, she's but I could do it in a second. I totally get your point, but this is a business. Try to be mature and not beat the shit out of her or something. All right, honey? Yeah. Oh God, what? She's leaving? Who is it? What? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Why would you be packing? Because obviously there's no need for me here. You're leaving and we have the opening party. That's like the reason you came. I'm not trying to take anything away from you guys. We want you to stay. We're not trying, we're not telling no, you to you leave. No, you might want me to stay. Chloe clearly doesn't get it could help the business for all three of us. So unless she apologizes and unless she checks her attitude, then I really don't want to be a part of Dash anymore. I just think that the reason Chloe blew up was also because of your like totally ignoring her radio show. Like you haven't even asked her one oh. time. I forgot about it. And like she's been like really nervous and she like I think she's just scared like she has too much on her plate. Reminding Kim about Chloe's radio show allowed her to see why Chloe is so stressed out and maybe understand Chloe's side a little bit too. I'm just trying to help. Hey, Clo. What? Wait, t what happened? Wait, who are you with? Kim. Oh, Dash has got vandalized. That's terrible. Do you want us to come over there? Yeah, come here. Just step back for a minute. OK, everybody step back. Everybody, everybody step back. Dash has turned into a complete crime scene. There's police, paparazzi, looky-loos. Oh my god, the damage is not even that bad. If there's anything that we can do, we'll be happy to come right away. Thank you. you guys were not open until Thursday. This is not the way we want Dash to be known to the public for the first time. We just need to fix it and move on. Here, I'll do it. You'll do it? Yeah. Thanks, Kimmy. You didn't offer. No, I didn't, <laughs> and I don't want to. Your shoes are too cute to offer to paint. Exactly. I'm really sorry that I said that you don't help us, because you do, and obviously you're trying to make an effort, and you're helping right now, even in your Louboutin shoes. And, and I'm sorry that I didn't ask you about your radio show. I feel like you just never really talked to me about it. Yeah, I, I think it's no much idea. more entertaining when you guys are fighting this love is making me want to vomit. And That's vomit nice of on you. you. Oh, OK. When Kim offers to paint over the graffiti and help clean it up, I mean, it's such a small gesture, but it means so much to me because it was so out of her character. She's not really like a down and dirty type of girl. Hi. Hi. OK, let's cut it. OK, does this cut? No. It's Today not... is our big store grand opening. There are hundreds of people lined up outside of Dash. I know none of this could happen without my sisters and the help of my Dash dolls, even. I can already tell this is a huge success. Now we just need Jennifer Lopez, Gloria Stefan, Enrique, all those people to come in here, shop. Okay.